Chee guys, what up? Welcome back to Farm for Life. Um, this is a freaking cool video that me and Chase are going to hit you with right now about the vets coming out to do the bloods and liver tests on our cows. So with one of the most important parts of the year coming up being mating, um, obviously we want to make sure that our cows are in good condition, um, they're cycling well, um, and that also that they're not deficient in any minerals. Okay, so And we also want to make sure that they're not ketotic. So we've drafted out a few uh, colostrums of, out, of our, out of our colostrum mob. Um, we've called the vets from Vets House, so our, our vet Liz, and uh, she's got a student coming out as well. Um, they come out to check our bloods and livers and get a, uh, a test on our, our ketone levels with our cows. So I'm going to flick you around and uh, we're just going to talk through the process here. It's a pretty cool one. Um, definitely if you're farming or if you're coming into farming, man, there's so much cool shit that we need to do um, that we sort of forget about as farmers. We sort of just, you know, we're so busy, we just carry on with it and don't really think about it but when you're when you're not farming and you sort of look at the sort of shit it's like freaking hell they do so much cool shit like this is freaking the coolest part about farming is like understanding um the cow's anatomy um minerals and sort of just how how everything works so flick you around and we'll flick you on to the experts Right, we're going to test some bloods for the trace elements for selenium and some magnesium as well. Yep. And at the same time, we'll do ketone testing. Yep. So that's what we want to diagnose is actually see if there's some subclinical ketosis going on in the cows. So straight after calving, they're quite susceptible for that. Some cows could be. So if a cow just calves, she actually goes through a massive transition, transition period. So from being a dry cow, all of a sudden she has to calf and it might be bad weather conditions. She has to pop this calf out. She straight away has to go into production and it drains so much energy from her. Yep. So because of that, if, you, if she can't keep up with the feed demand or the feed quality is not that great or whatever reason she can't keep up with feed demand, yep. she will um, use her own muscle and her own fat that she's got to break down and that will uh, form ketones. Yep. If there's too many ketones, they'll come into the bloodstream and um, become the cow will become ketotic. Yep. So um, And subclinical ketosis, if she has a value of 1.2 millimoles per liter yep. then it means she'll be subclinical ketosis and over two millimole we talk about uh, clinical ketosis but then you'll see nervous symptoms or she'll become really lethargic um, she'll drop milk production she'll drop um, appetite so um, that's when we actually see a clinical but they could look perfectly normal and still be subclinical ketotic so that's how we want to find out here with these girls so with like one of the most important parts of um, the year coming up being mating yep. um, how is this gonna affect mating if, if our cows are ketotic yeah if they're subclinical ketotic then we're just gonna see this drop in appetite we're gonna see this um, drop probably the immune system is gonna drop they are gonna have um, more risk of retained membranes or being dirty cows so that all will have a different an, an impact on mating uh, and have an impact on your six week in calf rate so and your empty rate so that's definitely what we want to prevent um, and figure out if they're definitely in good enough nick, uh, to go into mating so. Is there a little vein through there, is there? Yeah, there's a little vein running through the tail and if you feel in between the vertebra here, yep. you can feel a little dip and that's where you want to take your blood sample from. Nice. So. You ready, Paul? Hand you this one over. Just need one little drop. Doodoosh. 1.2 so this girl is actually borderline of being subclinical ketotic so yep. um, because she's probably in good nick but we don't want the cows to be too fat actually at calving so ideally a heifer would be five and a half what a condition score at calving and a cow what she is should be a five condition score so she is actually probably on a little bit too fat of a side to be calving so that means that they'll probably have a bit of a harder transition going into um, you know, calving and starting with milk production so oh, yeah, it's really good to keep an eye on your body condition score and see so, yeah, and keep a test like this so what do you recommend we should do now um, I would just keep a, a good eye on that you can keep the feed into them so make sure that this girl can actually keep eating for her for the demands that she has so she doesn't have to break uh, down too much of her own uh, body fat and uh, get them in a nice uh, condition for uh, mating so if she would be under four and a half for mating four yep. and a half that would be great that would be great for her so we just done the bloods and livers um, so we just in terms of the livers what are we measuring there in the liver we will test the copper levels and in the blood we'll test the selenium and magnesium levels also there's some disinfectant, some heavy scrap to make sure that we get as many bugs off as we can.
for sure. Come on. Ooh, there it is. Some difficult So we're going to get a graph um, sent out to us and, and from the old um, action that, that plan? Yep, yep. And cool. Nice analysis, just straight straight for the American Uber Farm, so that'd be for fun for life. Awesome. Thank you very much for coming out, guys. All good. See you later. See you.